come together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to those who will join us later from, from home. As today we celebrate the solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we prepare ourselves again to offer a sacrifice of praise and of thanksgiving. For you, our mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. You give yourself to us in the form of bread and wine. Christ, have mercy. You have won for us a new and an eternal kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord. And the Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And glory to God in the highest. Amen. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who glory in the heart of your beloved Son and recall the wonders of his love for us may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace from that fount of heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Hosea. Listen to the word of the Lord. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and I called my son out of Egypt. I myself taught Ephron to walk. I took them in my arms. Yet they have not understood that I was the one looking after them. I led them with reins of kindness, with leading strings of love. I was like someone who lifts an infant close against his cheek. Stooping down to him, I gave him his food. How could I treat you like Adma, or deal with you like Zebulun? My heart recoils from it. My whole being trembles at the thought. I will not give rain to my fierce anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again. For I am God, not man. I am the Holy One in your midst, and have no wish to destroy the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With joy we will draw water from the wells of the Saviour. With joy we will draw water from the wells of the Saviour. Truly God is my salvation. I trust, I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my soul. He became my Saviour. With joy we will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy we will draw water from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to the peoples. Declare the greatness of his name. With joy we will draw water from the wells of salvation. Sing a psalm to the Lord, for he has done glorious deeds. Make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy, 
For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. We glory in your Lord, so and your Lord, 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 and your This is the love I mean. God's love for us when he sent his Son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. It was preparation day, and to prevent the bodies remaining on the cross during the Sabbath, since that Sabbath was a day of special solemnity. The Jews asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken away. Consequently, the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with him and then of the other. When they came to Jesus, they found he was already dead. And so instead of breaking his legs, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a lance and immediately there came out blood and water. This is the evidence of one who saw it, trustworthy evidence, and he knows he speaks the truth, and he gives it to you so that you may believe as well, because all this happened to fulfill the words of Scripture, not one bone of his will be broken. And again, in another place, Scripture says, they will look on the one whom they have pierced. The Gospel of the Lord. There's a beautiful gentleness in that first reading from Hosea, almost like a, a mother caring for her children feeding them, helping them to walk, okay, this sort of beautiful gentleness, which is God telling us it's how, he, it's how he loves us, how he loves his children. He's going to withhold his anger, but to cherish them and to nurture them and to help them grow. And that, in a sense, is realised for us in this beautiful Feast of the Sacred Heart. Again, it's another image of God's love for us. The God who becomes one of us, who gives himself to us and gives himself for us. gives himself to us today in our Eucharist as we remember that sacrifice that he made and are now invited to take part in that, to share in that by means of our Eucharist. In a sense, we are invited to, to be with John today at the foot of that cross as Jesus offers himself to the Father for us and for, for all humanity. That little passage we have from John's Gospel today is it's the only time, if I remember correctly, it's the only time in the whole of the Gospel where he breaks the narrative and comes into the story himself. He's talking about Jesus being on the cross. He's talking about this other prisoners, what we call them, having their legs broken. And the Lord having that lance pierced into his side. Then this is trustworthy evidence. I was there. I was there. I want to reassure you of the truth of this. And yet he's the only one of the four gospel writers who talks about that piercing. He's the only one who 
draws attention to it. Something significant for John in that. That he feels the need to not only tell us about it, but to underline it by saying, I was standing at the foot of the cross. I actually saw this happen. This one whom they have pierced, who will be the source of life, and that life, in a sense, is symbolized for us in the water and the blood that comes from his body. The life of the church is born in that water and in that blood. We are washed in his water and the waters of baptism. We are fed by his blood in the Eucharist. We are washed and made clean and we are nurtured to help us grow. To grow in his love. Grow with him in his sacrifice. So we are invited not just to stand and watch, but to take part. To become part of that sacrifice. That as Christ has given himself to us in love, as he will do today, give himself to us again in love, and we receive him, then we too are called to give. To give back to him, but also to give to each other, to offer ourselves for that same kingdom, for that same beautiful message, to share his life, to share his death so that we can share his life in all of its fullness. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread that we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of our offences. Then we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love. 
and poured out blood and water from his pure side, the wellspring of the churchy sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Saviour, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when the supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, with the Order of Bishops, with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of Christ, in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We remember Jimmy McEnany, who would have been 90 today. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, says our Lamb, the Father's love for us. He takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into heaven. Lord, Lord,
prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you now and forever. And let us pray. May the sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbour. And again we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jimmy would have been 90 today or someone else who's celebrating but not quite 90 i have to say but i have to congratulate paul paul is 70 today well done paul <laughs> he doesn't look a day over 69. <laughs> the lord be with you the almighty god bless us all the father and the son and the holy spirit our mass is ended we'll go in peace Amen.